What's going on guys? I got the GoPro today, all day, it's the day off, and if you're wondering, this is where I've been living all summer. It's my family's trailer. Pretty rad little spot. I left my camera in my buddy Christian's car last night. So we're gonna rock and roll with this GoPro today. We're gonna be rocking and rolling with the Cortland Nymph 10 foot, six inch four weight today. Should be sweet. Just grabbing the rod and we are gonna be on our way. Let's walk in the fly shop, pick up some flies. We'll show you what we're getting for today. Good way to slide out the fishing season. Yeah, yeah. Some chubby chinobles. I tried it for a couple different ones. Problem is, it's like I can right. I'm good with eating gear and help. And then some droppers. I'm going to get one of these olive tungsten and leeches. Red two bit hooker. Get two of those. I'll get one of olive too. Hi right, team. Thank you. I'll try to. Bye team. Bye team. Go team. All right, you guys. There were some people in there, but I picked up some chubby Chernobyls in a size eight, and then I got some two-bit hookers, which is Umqua's number one best-selling nymph. It's got two bead heads, therefore it sinks very quickly. It's kind of everything you want. And then we got Flyagra to drench that chubby and keep it afloat. Should be a rad day. As I mentioned at the trailer, I left my camera in Christian's car. So we're gonna go all GoPro today. I'm gonna have the chest mount, I'm gonna bring some batteries and we're gonna pack light. So I'm probably just gonna bring like a cup of flies with me, uh, some extra GoPro batteries and some nippers. It should be it, should be sweet. All right, you guys, we made it to the spot. Here's how I'm gonna pack today. I'm gonna bring a light backpack, all right? And in here, I have some extra nymphs. We're gonna have tippet, some six pound. That's just kind of extra. A cup of flies we bought. Viagra, and then I got some extra GoPro batteries. I'm gonna keep right up here at top and poke it. And then I got a charging solar battery pack to charge my phone and GoPros. So that'll be in there as well. And a water bottle. That is it for today. That will just stay on my back all day as we continue to fish upstream. Okay, we have got today, this is the Cortland Nymph 10 foot 6 inch 4 weight. Now this isn't your ideal dry fly rod. This is a lot more designed for Euro nymphing. But today I'm going to show how this setup can truly be used for everything. When you have a little bit longer rod, you lose some accuracy, but it becomes very, very diverse, especially for beginner caster. It is extremely versatile for any type of fishing, truly. So with this rod today, 
I could totally, there's a hopper. I could totally throw a streamer. I could totally Euro Nymph and I'm running a dry dropper rig. So it's pretty unique that I can do all three with a 10 foot six rod. Right now I'm tying on my chubby with a loop knot. Not everybody likes to loop knot their drives, but I do. And then off the back of that, here I have some, I'll show you guys, this chubby. I'm gonna rock with some Cortland Ultra Premium Floor Carbon 5X. Could go four, but this stuff's really, really strong. I'm gonna go about two and a half, three feet of this. This first hole I could see from the bridge is quite deep. Nip that off. And then all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a clinch knot. So I give it my twist. Improved clinch. Just like so. Tie it off to the back of the hook. For anyone that doesn't know, this is a dry dropper rig. Very, very common. So this chubby is gonna be act as our indicator and fish will come up and smack it. So that's our dry fly. And after about two and a half, three feet, I'm gonna have my nymph. And I'm gonna do another loop knot to my nymph. So for a loop knot, you do overhand knot first. I'm gonna grab one of these dark olive two-bit hookers. Two bead heads, sinks very quickly. And for a loop knot, you put the tag in back through the overhand knot, twist seven times, and back through the big loop, just like so. And to finish it off, if our tag, I'm gonna come back to my chubby, take the new Flyagra we just bought, and drench her. Just like so. Give it a drench and a shake. That should float for us all day. All right, you guys. 3X to my chubby, some Flyagra. Then I got about two and a half, three feet of 5X Cortland Ultra Premium Fluoro to a little size 14 two bit hooker. And that is gonna be the rig today. Sadly, we're ditching the Crocs. Love them, we just can't do it. My buddies at Peekable Angler got me hooked on this. The whole booty, wet weight deal. So that's what we're doing. This is like the most public access spot ever, but I don't turn it down. Never turn a bridge spot down, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Another thing with this Flyagra, definitely dry your fly off with a couple false casts before you get going. All right, here we go. Whoo, that water's cold. There we go. Oh, baby fish. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. On the dropper. Right in that shade, right underneath that tree. Beautiful little rainbow. That was like fourth, fifth cast. Nice, cold, clean water. There we go. And that little two-bit hooker. Hey, buddy. Oh, one just hit the chubby. Little guy. Could not pull it under. Oh, there we go. Oh my God. So a lot of fish on this river in the 
12 inch range, but there are a lot better. And that, I would say, is a minnow. <laughs> Another great thing about fishing upstream is that I'm not spooking any of these fish that are up above me, because obviously they're all looking upstream. So I have a very, very much so advantage here. Oh my gosh, that was a good fish. Oh, my nymph like landed right off the rock and he just ate it immediately. I have a little bit too long of a leader though for in here. Oh my gosh, he was tucked way underneath there. Oh, I just denied my chubby. Oh, one's after it again. <laughs> These fish are a little too small to grab the chubby. We're looking for that 16 inch plus to come up and just snarf it is what we want. That's a juicy run. It's gonna be deep. Hopefully nobody's hit it yet today. Cause if not, we're about to pull some fish out of here. 100%. Start the bottom. Always start the bottom. That is just so surprising. Gonna run it a couple times. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. That is a big chubby fish. I casted that same spot like three or four times. <laughs> That is a sick chubby fish. It's like a 13 inch rainbow. Are you kidding me? That was rad. Come here, bud. Yes, look at that boy. It's a beautiful rainbow. On the dry. Head of the run. There he goes. Heck yeah. Oh, there's one. Was that a brown? I'm on the nymph that time. And this, oh, nope, just another rainbow. Come here, bud. Pretty little nymph fish. I knew there had to have been one down there. Should be a fish. There he is. Okay, here we go. That's a good fish. That's what we needed. Nice rainbow. Fat rainbow. Probably about 12 inches. But that is the ones we're looking for. Quick release, there we go. Called that one. I've been missing my calls, but that one I call. Got one. Nice fish. Ate the chubby, but Hooked him on the dropper. Good rainbow right here. That one goes about 14 probably. That happens a lot. Oh, it just pulled off. Look at that water I'm fishing right here. Just a small little pocket. That's not even the one that I hooked. I think the one I saw spooked. The one I saw is right here tucked on the ledge, like right there. So he doesn't seem, oh, here's a fish right here. There he is. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Finally, he's never been hooked before. Not a big one, but that was still very cool. There was like three or four of them piled up in there. Hey buddy. Wrong the nymph. Eat that. Oh, 
Oh, one. One wants it in there. One wants it in there. Here we go. One wants it. There he is. Nice fish. Nice. That's the biggest of the day right there. Oh, that was sick. That is a beautiful rainbow. Right at about probably 15 inches right there. Right, got him right in the nose. There we go. That's one. All that hiking paid off. He might go 16. Look at that. Ain't that chubby. Gorgeous. Right in the noggin. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Tried to walk a road back to my car that does not go back to the park where I parked because I didn't want to walk all that river back. This is much easier to walk on, obviously. But the dry dropper killed it. Probably caught like over 30 fish with the Cortland Nymph 10 foot six, four weight. I really liked it. I was able to pick up my flies off the water super quickly and relay them wherever I needed to very, very easily. I love it. It's a sweet setup. And I just paired that up with a chubby Chernobyl to a two-bit hooker. Two great flies. If you guys want to cover river water with fish that are pretty eager, I mean, these fish, they're eating chubby Chernobyls. A lot of other places, they do that too. So a really good tactic is to fish a dry dropper because you're able to cover a lot of water. And, you know, you only need a handful of drifts through a run, through a piece of pocket water with a nymph and both a dry fly at the same time covering both columns, seeing which the fish prefer. And you can do it really quickly. You can put a couple casts through there and keep moving. So streamer fishing or dry dropper rigs are probably the best two ways to move through runs and move through river very quickly and eventually find yourself a big one if you continue to cover a lot of water.